Alright, g'day guys. Today I thought we would have a crack at playing around with sound uh, within Realmworks. Um, and just sort of playing around with the different ideas that you can use to, to bring sound to your table. Um, I think sound is something that uh, I certainly don't use efficiently yet. Um, I would like to. Uh, I think sound brings a, a great element to my to my room. Um, I've got the capability. The speakers are installed. It's ready to go. I just I haven't really found a way to control the sound in a way that I like. Um, ideally, I would love to do everything out of Realmworks, um, but I found that the way it, I've tried to get it working hasn't worked. So I've just spent a, a bit of time playing around with different ideas and uh, some of them are a little bit out there. So just hold with me. <laughs> All right, we'll switch over now. Um, and uh, obviously you should be pretty familiar with Realmworks by now. Um, and in front of me, you can see I am in my mechanics section. Uh, that's where I've been storing all of my sounds. Um, and I have been playing around with different sounds. Um, so the first one I'll, I'll start with is obviously uh, uh, the formal and official probably way to do it, given that there's a bit of a partnership working between the two. Um, but Sirenscape um, is a really good uh, soundboard application um, that allows you to obviously um, play different sounds um, and listen to them with your, your players. Aww. So there's a, probably a loud one for you. Uh, you can see you've got different options down here to set off different spells. Now, I don't use this at my table. Uh, I don't like the idea of having a soundboard up. Um, I've already got Realmworks. I've already got Hero Lab. I've already got uh, map tools running. I don't really need another tool. Um, and that's why I haven't really gone out of a way to do this. But there is a way. So we'll show you what we can do. So here I've just made a very simple Serenscape um, section. Uh, and inside that, uh, ignore this, I haven't actually put anything in here. Inside that, I've just created some links um, to some, some options here. Now, the way I've done that is I've gone to Serenscape. Uh, I've gone into the little icon down the bottom left there. Um, enabled third-party app integration. Click OK. And now you'll see that you've got these little plus signs. So we'll get the sad trombone. Uh, you can see the sad trombone's been copied to my clipboard. I can now go back over to Realmworks um, and create a new line and I paste that in. You can see it's quite an interesting element there. Uh, once it's pasted in, I could use that as it is, but obviously that's ugly. Um, I'm going to edit that hyperlink and I'm going to change the text to display section. And I'll play sad trombone. That changes it. It's a lot neater and it's a lot nicer. And now I've got an option here. And I click it, and it plays the sound. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like that. Um, it's easy to play the different sound options. Uh, there does seem to be a, a delay. Oh. Sometimes clicking doesn't make it work. Um, and what I really do like is clicking it again fades it back out. Um, and that's what I really like is this link plays the music straight away. Now, why wouldn't I use Sirenscape? Quite frankly, because I've got to pay for it. Um, you know, you, you've you've got all these different options that you can pay for, and you can buy your sounds, which is great. Um, but I kind of want to be able to put my own sound in here, um, and you can't do that without a subscription. Um, so I think that was ten dollars a month subscription gets you access to upload your own sounds. Um, if anyone knows differently, please do let me know. Um, uh, I'm not going to pay $10 a month at this stage to add my own sounds into the tool set. Um, maybe I'll, I'll move over to buying my sounds through here. I don't know. Um, but it certainly is an option. And as you can see, the fact that you can la, click a button la, la, and play la, the sound, la, la, la. that's pretty cool. Now, how would you use that actually in a real world example because um, obviously you, you wouldn't want to have to go to your mechanics section every time you play a song so if we go to the cave entrance on this one here I'll put in a little text snippet underneath and we can play the sad trombone now is that a URL that is. So that's actually copied that directly over. 
So that's cool, but I don't actually think that's the way it would be working every time. The only reason that worked for me then is because I actually went to the mechanics and I copied that URL before I left it. Obviously, if you were setting up, you're probably more likely to want to just type place their trombone um, and have that link generate. Uh, over to the mechanics section, which it actually hasn't. Oh, I know why. So I haven't created the place our trombone section. What I've done is I've done Serenscape. Um, so I'm just copy that and go back over here. All right, now I've got a link. So I could click Serenscape, that could take me to here. Pretty quick. I'll be honest though, what I really want is this. I want to be able to play that sound with one click directly from this page. That would be my objective. Um, and I guess what I really don't find satisfying is that I kind of want to have my sounds pre-made in my mechanics section um, so I don't have to come in and remake it every single time that I want to put a sound in. That's where I'd like to be um, and it's not there yet from what I can tell. Um, but I, I certainly do like the fact that it plays very quickly and efficiently. Um, that, that seems to be good. But let's have a look at some other options. Um, for anyone who is out there playing around with sound, um, there obviously is a, a lot of different websites you can go to um, to get your, your sound. Um, I've, I've backed quite a number of Kickstarters in my time and uh, a lot of the sounds that I have gone out and backed uh, in that period of time have come from BattleBards.com. So I've, I've bought PDFs and I've bought Kickstarters and they come with free uh, sound packs from BattleBards.com. So majority of my compilation does come from here currently. Um, and you know, they've got a really good system for, for buying, um, buying sounds, um, which is certainly always appreciated. Um, they do monster scapes, they do uh, language packs, they do, you know, um, you know, City Siege, for example. Some really cool stuff. Um, and the price isn't too bad to get yourself some stuff that you own. Um, but outside of that, let's have a look at how we would do it. So you've always got a play button in the actual website, and you can see that plays down here. Um, this I don't own, so it's got that battlebars.com in there. Com obviously not really what you want. You kind of want to be playing with your audio. Uh, go to my library. Yeah, my computer's just cracking it. Oh, we just did this. Alright, we'll go to my library. Maybe not that easy. But anyway, while that's lighting, the point I was going to make is you can download the, the songs that you own. So what I've done is I've downloaded the MP3 files um, and you can see over here I've, I've created an audio section. Uh, I've broken them down into categories and I've, I've got my sounds. Um, they're added in using a snippet style uh, that is a documents and media audio file. Um, and it, you know, it gets a little play button um, in there. You can press play and it plays the song. Now the concept is good. I just don't think it works. Um, and I'll show you why. I'm just going to rename one of these. I'll grab that actually. I'll go back to our world almanac. Um, we'll come back into a cave entrance and let's say we wanted to play Demon Summoning. There we 
go. The reason why I don't like the way this works is, you know, I want to play this song. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to click it. Too many clicks. <laughs> um, it took me three clicks to get through to here. Um, and this doesn't have a repeat function. What I really would prefer, especially with one of these soundscapes that just plays in the background, like say an in, in sound or something, is I want to be able to play it on repeat. The workaround I did find is instead of pressing play here and playing from internally within RealMorks, you can go view externally. And that does open it up into your music application. Uh, my default is Groove Music, but only because I have yet to take the time to change the defaults. I hate the Windows 10 doesn't let you do that anymore. Um, but you can obviously turn repeat on and off. All right. And the benefit there is that's going to keep playing in the background uh, while you're going. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just kind of wish that that functionality existed from within Realmworks. Um, so I could do it all within the one application. Uh, but that is certainly one way to do things. But then I started playing around with different ideas. This is the Alchemist uh, Lab. Uh, for anyone who hasn't played around with, I think it's called soundboard.com. Bring it up on my other screen for you guys. Uh, tabletop audio. All right, apologies. It was tabletop audio I was thinking of. Uh, tabletop audio is pretty cool um, in that there's just you know thousands of sounds that you can play. They're broken down into different sort of categories, and you can go down here and you can find the one that you want, um, and you can play it. All right, you can see that plays your, your sounds, which is really cool. It's not really what I want. I want to play it from in here. So what you can do is you can download your songs from there, um, or your sounds. So you can actually go in and create some really cool custom stuff. Um, but yeah, again, you've got to come in here, you've got to press play for it to actually work. not really what I want. So here's another option where I actually downloaded the URL from the website and what that does is when I click that it's loaded it up and you can see it's got the goblins cave here um, but I still have to press play for that to work. Not really again what I want. I'm trying to reduce the amount of clicks um, and ideally I want to reduce the amount of clicks to to one click because um, that's where I want to be. So here was another idea I played around with I actually created a bat file um, so for anyone that doesn't know how to do that you just create a new notepad file um, you put your command line in and you, you save it as a, a dot bat um, instead of a dot text, so BAT. So start Windows Media Player uh, and play this song here. And I like this, this is cool. You press the play button um, and it plays it straight away. So I've almost achieved what I want, um, one click playing. But again, ideally, I want to set this up in my mechanics section, but play it from a link. Uh, and that's not something I can do yet. So. What I could do is on my computer save a major amount of bat files for every song or sound that I want and then just add that into my Realmworks snippet. Um, so to show you what that would look like. Come back over here to the cave interior. I'm going to add a snippet below. We're going to go more. Advanced type and we're doing a foreign object. So here you can open up the foreign object. Uh, we'll go back to my desktop. Give it whatever name you want. 
And then as you're reading that, obviously you can pressure play on that. It plays it very quickly, very efficiently. Um, and you know, I don't mind the fact that it's in a different app because it opens so quickly. Oh. Now, my problem, however, though, is I, I don't work on the same computer. I, I do my prep on my PC inside. I run my games on my, my laptop. Um, so this wouldn't necessarily work. Um, I could probably play around with uh, sticking my bat files and the uh, associated sounds in maybe a Google Drive or a, a cloud-based system. Um, and I could go from there. That, that might work. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it'll work as, as well. I don't like the idea of having all these files. I really want everything in Realmworks uh, is where I want them. Um, there is another one that I was just playing around with on the second screen. So this is Ambient Mixer. Um, again, this is a really, uh, really cool one I find. Um, again, you can download the audio. And the, the reason why I'm showing you this is once it loads up. All right, you can see you've got different sounds playing here. Um, it's, it's sounding pretty good. But what I'm really interested in is someone's come up and saved that as the Summer Forest. Alright. Oh wait, that's cool. If I shut this down... Uh, I'll snip it below... Edit that... Just the text... So now I've got to play Summer Forest. Clicking that opens up my web browser um, and and plays it. And it was relatively quick, obviously, because I've, I've saved that before. Again, though, I've, I've come back to the situation where I really want that one-click play. Um, and uh, Lone Wolf, if you ever do watch this, I'd, I'd love to see if you guys could bring a solution. Um, other than Sirenscape, I'd love a solution where I don't have to play a subscription fee. Um, that basically gives me one click access to run my sounds uh, how I want them to run um, from a mechanic section on the reference. So um, if anyone has any other ideas or how you might uh, be able to figure this out, um, please do uh, comment uh, in the forum boards or on the, on the comments. Uh, I'm certainly keen to bring music to my table. Um, but yeah, as I said at the start, I just haven't found the solution that I want. And, when I find it, that solution is going to need to be one click from my World Almanac um, directly in the start there. Um, and that's that's how I'd be happy. Um, in the meantime, I think I might play around with this this, this option here. Um, the URL is cool. I don't know. <laughs> I need to have a bit of a play. Um, let me know your thoughts and your opinions, guys. Let's uh, have a discussion and uh, see if we can find a better way. Once again, uh, thanks for listening, um, and I'll uh, chat to you guys online.